Like and subscribe right now, or you're gonna have terrible luck for the next week. <laughs> Hello, dear viewer, and welcome to yet another exciting episode of 100M, where we'll look at 10 of the most bizarre things you'll find in nature. Number 10. Vantablack. This may sound preposterous, but looking at Vantablack feels like staring into a black hole. It's so dark that your eyes can't actually even see it. It's said to be the darkest known substance in the universe. It's a nanomaterial that was developed in Europe by the UK's Surrey Nanosystems in 2015. To produce the bizarre material, scientists bonded a collection of vertical carbon tubes that were grown on a substrate. The resulting matter after further processing was a dark nanomaterial that was found to be darker than any other known substance on Earth. It is said to absorb nearly all light that hits its surface, nearly 99.98% of all light, hence its eternally dark appearance. With very, very little light bouncing back from the material when observed by the human eye, it's said to be the closest thing to staring into a black hole. Number 9. Crooked Forest There's a small clutch of about 500 strangely bent pine trees in the Polish forest just south of the city with the impossible name Szczecin. The entire forest appears to be bent over at the bottom of the trunk, forming near-perfect 90-degree angles. They grow parallel to the ground for a few inches, and then curve again right back to grow vertically for their entire length, forming a fascinating fishing hook shape. The strange forest has been garnering the attention of travelers for years, but nobody knows the origin of their bizarre development. Suggestions range from the use of lumberjack growing techniques to the occurrence of torrential winter snowstorms that gave the trees their unique shape. Whatever the case may be, you've got to admit that the distinctive fish hook appearance gives the forest a spooky, enchanting feel. Number 8. Rainbow Eucalyptus These trees look like they've come straight out of a Dr. Seuss book, but they're actually real trees, the Eucalyptus deglopta, growing in Indonesia, Papua New Guinea, and the Philippines. The mesmerizing trees feature unusually multicolored barks with bright orange, green, maroon, purple, and blue streaks making them look like colored crayons with the paper cover removed. The strange colored bark is said to be the side effect of the tree shedding as it gets taller and older. Scientists explain that as the bark peels away, the eucalyptus tree's inner green layer is exposed. It is this inner layer that turns into a range of colors as it matures over time, eventually forming the surreal and utterly mesmerizing multicolored rainbow trees that look like something out of the tales of Alice in Wonderland. These must be one of the most spectacularly beautiful things you will ever find in nature. Number 7. Donakil Depression This bizarre-looking landscape located in the Afar Triangle in Ethiopia looks like the surface of an alien planet. Countless superlatives have been tossed at it, with the worthiest adjectives including hottest, driest, lowest, and weirdest. What with the surreal crackling pools of blue lava, neon-colored simmering hot springs, sparkling salt flats, swirling poisonous gases, and pools of acidic and highly toxic fluids flooding its hydrothermal fields, it really is perhaps the most inhospitable place on Earth. Scientists believe that the multiple strange phenomena exhibited here are a result of continental drifting. Number 6. Fairy Circles these spooky circular patches spanning across the arid grasslands of the Namib Desert in their millions are an eerie beauty. Each disc-like patch measures about 2 meters and 15 meters in diameter and is neatly arranged in a honeycomb-like pattern across 2,500 kilometers of land. The inner circles are completely bare, with vegetation only growing around the outer circle, leaving a landscape that looks as if giant grasshoppers had eaten through the vast carpet of grassland in the unusual pattern. Even as no one knows for certain what may have caused these otherworldly formations, there's no shortage of theories trying to explain it. The local bushmen, who gave them the name Fairy Circles, believe that the formations are footprints of gods visiting Earth. But really, scientists' hypothesis suggesting of radioactive soil or toxins released from plants that kill the vegetation in circular patterns is perhaps the most fitting theory. Number 5. Sailing Stones Scores of heavy dolomites and cyanite rocks appear to have been moving across the dried lake bed of racetrack playa in California's Death Valley National Park. 
The stones leave telltale trails behind them, hence the assumption that the stones come to life and move on their own. Visitors have, for a long time, been baffled with the sailing stones phenomenon, especially when they stumble across a stone weighing as much as 300 kilos that appears to have dragged itself across the lake bed for 250 meters. As expected, a slew of theories emerged all trying to explain the unnatural phenomenon. You'll hear everything from intervention of hired pranksters to mysterious dust devils to extraterrestrial intelligence, but it's NASA's explanation that clinches it. Using time-lapse photography, scientists from NASA in 2014 finally figured out that water, wind, and ice had been the cause for the phenomenon. Number 4. Nazca Lines Across the desert plains of Peru lies an eerie sight. Hundreds of giant pattern designs carved into the ground, spanning over a vast area of more than 1,000 square kilometers. There is very little clue as to who carved the vast patterns more than 2,000 years ago, why they did it in the hundreds, their purpose, and most importantly, what tools were used to achieve such remarkable geometric precision. The weird shapes carved on the ground have baffled scientists studying them for more than 80 years, and even after countless experiments, the mystery behind the Nazca Lines still lingers. Dozens of theories abound, trying to crack the deal with the prehistoric geometric patterns, but the most compelling explanation has to do with socio-cultural practices of the Nazca people of the Peruvian Desert Plains. Still, some people believe aliens to have been the grand architects. Number 3. Honduran White Bats Strange animals are also part of the bizarre things you'll find in nature. Take the Honduran White Bat, for instance. These bats are pretty rare to see, and you'll soon find out why. They are one of three bat species that feature perfectly white fur, and out of the 1,300 species of bats, they are the only bats that build homes to live in. Yeah, you may have heard them being variously referred to as the Caribbean White Tent-Making Bats. The name gives it all away, really. Rather than hang upside down from trees, Honduran white bats build tents out of plant matter that they collect throughout the night amidst looking for fruits to eat. The bats cut the plants carefully to size, forming a small structure for them to hide in. Usually, a group of 15 bats can be found cuddled up in one plant tent, roosting throughout the day until it's time to go out and scavenge in the night. Some believe that the bats build tents to hide from would-be predators since their white fur makes them rather too conspicuous. Now it's time for today's best pick. A headless camel. Not sure what we're supposed to do or say about it, but hey, if you find a picture online and would like to know more about it, you can always send it over to us. We'll be glad to do the thing for you, and who knows, we just might feature it in our next video. Number two, headless camel. That headless camel was filmed wandering around in the middle of a desert in India. The photographer who took the headless camel's snap admitted that he was pretty shocked at the unbelievable sight before him. But before he could make for it, the camel turned its neck a little and its missing camel head suddenly came into view. Turns out that it was all just an illusion. The camel had turned its head so far from the cameraman's perspective, its neck and head were obscured by its body such that it appeared as if it was a headless camel. Or is it camouflage for camels? I don't know. Before we move on, I've got a little challenge for you that'll take five seconds to complete. So, here's the deal. You just leave a like on this video, smash that subscribe button, and hit the notification bell, and you will get 25 years of amazing luck. Try it, it really works. Number one, sheep eating plant. It's an extremely rare spiky tropical plant called the Puya chilensis, native to the mountains of Chile. What happens is that animals with thick fur, such as sheep, get entangled in the tree's spiny leaves. As the immobile animal starves to death and starts to decay, the plant then absorbs the nutrients that leak into the soil. Horticulturalists in England just witnessed the blooming of one of the plants in 2013 after keeping it well-fed with liquid fertilizers for 15 years. The spokesperson at the Royal Horticultural Society in Wisley, where the bizarre plant is monitored, admitted feeding it on its natural diet might prove a bit problematic. You made it to the end of the video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to smash the like icon and leave a comment. Your engagement is what keeps our curiosity going. We have lots of fantastic videos that you'll enjoy. You can start by checking out the two already showing up on your screen right now. Keep it 100.